Okay guys, well today we're working on the, I was just working on the 1990 but I'm gonna throw that aside for a little while. Got uh, something special, I'm all pumped, I'm all excited. Got a new carburetor for the 1991 KX250. So guys it's been like over a month maybe a month i've been trying to dial this bike in and i couldn't do it so i brought it to mission cycle they had it for three weeks and they couldn't do it apparently the carburetor needle where it goes up and down the cylinder where that needle goes up and down is completely wore out and it's just sucking up too much too much gas making it run really rich and uh, they don't sell replacement parts for those. So they tried to set the jetting to compensate for that extra fuel, but uh, it's not gonna work for me. <laughs> I want it to run perfect. So what did I do? I've been avoiding this, but I'm not avoiding it no more. Electron All excited guys This is the perfect carburetor Got some stickers Comes with a cable because you need a, a different cable longer at this end for the carburetor here we go guys brand new Hey guys, well I just took this apart. Electron. Awesome carb. Now this carb here is self-adjusting. Doesn't have any jets, doesn't have pilot jet, doesn't have a needle. Believe it or not, this is not a needle. I took it apart because it comes with its own cable. You need a different type of cable, special cable for this. And I'll tell you guys how it works. This is it's self-adjusting so it adjusts all by itself depending on the altitude the temperature everything it does everything by itself your bike should run perfect all the time with this carburetor it's like having fuel injection kind of without fuel injection so this is your metering rod right here and I don't know if you can see that but one side is machined flat and the other side is round now the wrong side sits at the back towards the intake and the flat side sits towards your engine. So what happens is the air comes through and it creates kind of like an eddy and it, the air kind of goes around it and comes back and hits this rod. And the rod creates a bit of pressure and that determines how much fuel is, is brought in from the bottom over here so depending on uh, your altitude your temperature you're gonna have different air pressure pretty much hitting this metering rod and that'll determine how much fuel gets in there so the bike should run perfect all the so pretty much this thing should sip on fuel and run perfect uh, everybody's rants and raves about the extra power it gets and the low fuel consumption and you never have to adjust this for temperature 
for humidity, for altitude. It'll do it all by itself, just by this little metering rod. Now, I'm kind of excited. You only pretty much have one adjustment. Well, you got three adjustments, and they're very simple. They said just turn quarter turns, and uh, you should get it. You got your idle over here. And you got your mid-range right here. And you have actually have this too. You can adjust this. This here, you can only adjust this for idle. Everything else will stay the same no matter what. So if your idle is a little bit off, if you can't get it to idle properly, they send you a special tool, which I didn't get. I don't know why. I was waiting for that tool, but I didn't get the tool. So... I'm gonna have to call them back and say I'm missing my tool because they give you a special tool to adjust this but it should be all adjusted already this this uh, you order it on the bike you have so I told them I had a 91 KX 250 with an exhaust so it should be all set up already they do they sent me all on a, on a piece of paper they sent me all the adjustments which I don't know what the hell they mean but uh, this one here should be easy to figure out so that's it guys this Lextron carburetor self-adjusting it's like having fuel injection no more bogging no more adjusting no more fiddling with uh, with jets and uh, pilot jets and main jets and needles and uh, all the rest of the crap this is supposed to be a plug-and-play so let's plug it in see how it works simple you know just put in a carb made all the adjustments you got three adjustments one two and one down by the carb that sounds nice a little bit a free play I like a little bit so I don't whiskey throttle it well guys she's all put back together looking good Fingers crossed. Let's see how this works. Oh, here we go. Gas on. You see it filling up. That's perfect. Now, one thing I don't like is the choke is on the inner side. It's one thing that's I don't like, but if she runs perfect I could live with that
This Lextron carburetor is exactly what they say it is. Bolt on, turnkey, and awesome. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm excited, I'm stoked. Wow, I just want to ride this thing, but fuck, I can't. It's all ice. I don't know if you guys can see. It's all ice back here. Shit. Well, guys, just to let you know, I don't know if you guys have noticed. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but remember when the exhaust used to be like right up here? I cut a piece right out and I repacked it, redid it. That's like perfect now. Look at that. Tucked in. Nice. A little smaller. Awesome. I love it. Don't be scared to do something, guys. Even if you haven't done it before, you'd be surprised how easy shit is. So I just measured the original one and I cut it. I just didn't like the sound of it but awesome guys 
this thing one more thing to do and that's it gotta do this header exhaust gotta get a new one i'm looking it's hard to find uh there's guys out there that'll custom make it for me maybe that's the route i'm gonna end up going but that's it for today guys got my carburetor in i've been working on this punched out these reeds gotta put the new ones in stay tuned guys a lot more stuff to come all right guys see you later